Hey guys, in this part I'm going to make it possible to like a post. So what I want to do then is to go to the models.py for the post and do some changes there. So if I just open up the models.py in the post app, then you can see here that I have two fields here already which is commented out. Let's set this likes count to be a models.integer field so we can have just one, two, three, four, five which makes it easier to show the number of likes that the post has. So the default can be zero. And then this should be a reference to a separate model. So up here we can say class like models.model and we want a UUID. We want a created by so that we know when, uh, who liked this, so likes. And we can also know when it was created. And as you can see now, we don't have any reference from this one to, for example, a post attachment or a post, which makes it easier for us to reuse this. So we can, for example, just like an image or we can like a page or similar. So for now, this is very universal and can be globally used for anything else. So here we can just say likes equals models.many to many field. Then we pass in like and set blank or is it null? Not so blank equals true because we don't necessarily have a like for a post. So and since we have this, it's easy to know who liked the post, so we can for example see, uh, view this in a list, or we can at least prevent double posting or double liking. And this makes it easy to just uh, update this number. So now that we've done these changes, we can stop the server and run the make migrations again, and then the migrate script. Migrate, like that. Then we can run the server again. So I want to add this now into the serializer for the posts so it's easy accessible for us. You can add it here, you can add it at the end or wherever you want. And then we can start by updating this. So if I now just search for 82 likes, I can find every place that I have hard coded this in the feed.html. And just replace this with post.likes and I have it one more place in the same file post.likes think sorry I've just edited the feed.html my template that was not supposed to be changed Discard, just let me close that. It's just in the feed item, of course. Post.like and save. So if I now go back, it says likes. Um, it should be likes count. Zero likes, zero likes, and that should be for everyone. And this feed item is the one we are reusing, for example, on your profile and similar. So let's now make it possible to click this so that this increases. Um, first we can begin with the API endpoint for this. So in the API file in the post app we can say at API view post because we want to do some changes to a model and we also want to add a new object and then def post like request and then the pk for the primary key so it's easy to get this from the database um, so here we can get the post from the database by saying post equals post dot objects dot get pk equals pk and then we can say post dot likes count equals post.likes count plus one post.save um, we also need to create a new post 
uh, now I saw a new object of this so I need to import this model like then say like equals like dot objects dot create and this is added automatically so we just need to think about the created by because this is also added automatically so here's it created by equals um, equals equals request dot user and I want to create this above here because here we also need to say post dot likes dot add like so now we add this like to this list here but before we do this we want to check if this user already has created a like um, so to do that we need to say likes equals um, post dot objects dot filter um, hmm let me just do some testing here comment out everything here um, print post dot likes now this will give a list of all of the likes but how do I query it to see if I am the owner of one of these likes dot filter created by equals request dot user so then this will filter this one let me just see what this looks like so at the bottom here is a return json response message like created so then we can add this to the urls so we can test this a little bit path here we want to check the uuid api dot post like name post like and we also want to add a like at the end there so now we have the url we have the view then i just want to go to the feed item and i want to make this clickable so at click like post and in here we pass in the post.id so let me then just copy this then we need to set up the methods for this post like then id console.log like post pass in the id so we can just see that this is working now if i click this it's the same problem as in the previous part okay let's just ignore it for now so we can fix this like button here which is not working so let me find it here again feed item when you click this one okay it's just this i made clickable as you can see there so let's move let me move this up to this div let's make more sense so i can click this whole thing here yes nice okay so then that is working so then i just need to talk to the back end so let's import axios and then axios dot post let's use the back text here so a slash api slash post what is the url posts posts yes posts and then the uuid post slash id slash like and then we get some response back console.log response dot data and if there are any errors let me just copy this from one of the other ones copy these three lines paste it there 
So then we can test this. Like, I get a 500 error. Post like, got an unexpected keyword argument ID. Okay, sorry, I said PK there instead of ID. So rename this to PK. Makes more sense. Whoops. Nothing is working now. Post list profile got an unexpected post list profile. Oof, this renamed is to PK. Sorry. This one, not this one. Refresh, and then I get it back here again. So let's try to click this for like now. Then it was sent there, like created. Get an empty query set. That is this one, because I have not liked this earlier. So then I can uncomment this to see if it is working. Just refresh, click the like button, go here, no errors, there are no likes, that's okay. And then we comment this again. So hopefully if I now try to click like there, this is not empty anymore. That means that this is a good way to see if a post is already liked. Um, and then I can say if not posted likes there, then we can show these instead. Sorry, go to this code instead. So if this isn't true, then we create a new like. And then we say else return JSON response message post already liked. So let's try this now. Refresh, click like on this one, post already liked, like this one, like created. Cool. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link in the description below. So that means that now this is working as well. What I want to do now is to automatically update this number, but I already liked both of these, so I can't do it here. But if I go to the feed, I can try to do it with one of Stein Hellset's posts instead. So if I go back to the feed item, I think I can say here if response.data.message equals like created which is this one when it is created then I can just say post dot likes count plus equals one let me see if this is working like it post is not defined okay let's say this dot post dot likes count Yes, that it automatically increased. Nice. So that means that we are now having likes in our system. Awesome. So then I can just remove this one so it doesn't fill up the console. And I can remove this one to clean up this component. Okay, so then we have the likes in our system as well. And that was it for this part. If you have any questions about this Part, feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer as soon as I can. See you in the next video.